at the Golden Mount, which is called, what's it called? What? Uh, what, what? Yeah, what's our catch? Yeah, what's our Which is like one of the places you're supposed to go in Bangkok, and we haven't been yet. <laughs> so we just walked here. It's hot. I have on a shirt over my shirt. And yeah, we will try and get up all the stairs. There is a big map here at the entrance too. It looks like there's a lot of things to see both in and also like around the temple. So I guess not everyone needs tickets, but foreigners need tickets. <laughs> it looks so cool though. They're tickets. different tickets. <laughs> mm. It says, please dress up politely. Am I polite now? Yeah, I think you're quite polite. <laughs> you. Okay. So, 344 steps. Ah. You see? You think we can make it? Yeah. I mean, it's there. It's not really far. Yeah. These steps are tiny. Yeah, like, so you can move. Yeah. Yes, if we do two steps in one, it's only like 170 something. <laughs> so that's good. The stairs really aren't too bad and there's cute little water like fountains and stuff the whole way up. There's also, if you're tired, there's a coffee shop right here like halfway up so you can stop, rest and grab a coffee. So there are all these bells you can ring. I don't know if it's like good luck or something. We did that, but now there's this giant gong that Carlos wants to do. I don't want to do it. There is a little viewpoint, and right over the river, another temple. And you can see, I don't know, like the Grand Palace somewhere. So many temples. I can't get over how amazing these views are. Like, I think it's worth it just for the view. It says, keep your shoes on, but apparently no one got the memo. <laughs> The views though are crazy. Please don't take off your shoes. It's kind of surprising though, like usually everything says to take your shoes off. So we are inside now at the top of the Golden Mound. We just did a quick loop around the temples there at the top, and now we're back out to this view. So this is talking about all the history of the, the Golden Mound here that we're at, and it says it's the most precious property of Thailand nation as a whole. So apparently this is like super important. There are so many different Buddhas and like things to see here inside the complex. We're gonna head down here first to see Buddha's footprint and some vultures. Slippery, yeah. Maybe when it's raining, I don't know. These steps are big though. These are like two or three times the other stairs. <laughs> okay, cool. <coughs> And there's a dead person. There's a dead person, baby. Over here, you'll see. Okay. Yeah, right? This is really creepy. <laughs> There's so many vultures. Yeah, we need to learn about the vultures because we have no idea. <laughs> so it says during the 1800s, there was like a huge cholera outbreak and hundreds of people were dying every day. 
but they weren't allowed to cremate the bodies inside the old city, so they would bring them all here to the Wat. But there were so many dead bodies that the whole temple was just covered in vultures and they were eating all the people like this. So that vulture area is hidden down here on one side, and then the other side is actually pretty cute. And not too far away, it's a giant Buddha. So this is Buddha's footprint, but it's giant, like, I guess that's why the Buddha's so big. We started talking to this monk right behind the Buddha, and he's giving us these bracelets for good luck. Yeah, so there's golden leaf. And he said it's good luck and write your family's names or something. Yeah. Luck? It's so hard to tie it. <laughs> okay, good luck forever. It was forever. so hard to tie, but it cut me, so hopefully that doesn't ruin the good luck. No. <laughs> good luck forever now. Okay. There's more golden leaves. We already did our leaf, but this tree is so cool. There's a mini reclining Buddha. We just saw the lucky Buddha. We're going to see the black Buddha. There's so many Buddhas. Here's another Buddha. Hidden Buddha. So cool. And there's more golden leaves. So cute. This says it's the museum. Ban Bamyan Museum. But it's like in a rock. So we're gonna see. Oh, wow, cool. Wow. Like a real cake. Oh. This is so cool. This is not what I expected when it said a museum. This is cool. There's not really information here, but there are these little holes in the side of the cave with like little Buddhas and other objects. It's, it's really cool. I want to know about it though. I don't really know what the museum part of it was. Uh, it was just like lots of Buddhas and stuff, but it was really cool. And this is right outside the museum. Like a bunch of pictures of people. Some more pictures. Interesting. Looks like a dead end, but it's not. I don't know what this is. This is a graveyard, baby. Yeah. It's so eerie with like all the bells and everything. We've seen so much inside the temple area. We're gonna go outside the walls and look around here. We made it to the other part. Woo. There are a bunch of gorgeous buildings back here and there really aren't a lot of people at all. Walking on the rest of it, and there's a guy like becoming a monk, I guess. They're cutting all his hair off. Um, yeah, but other people were taking pictures. We don't know if it's like his family or I don't know. And he made it out of the back to this little garden area. I'm not sure what is famous about the tree, but there's a famous tree and there's a cool statue. Tells you about it here, but I think there's no English. Nope. And over here. It's the statue. And the golden mound behind. We are leaving Watt Sackett. 
Two big cows and a little one. I don't understand. The views are so nice. That was our fun exploring the Golden Mound or Wat Sackett here in Bangkok. And it's a really cool temple. Like it's really unique and the views are amazing. 